Hey y'all, Elsa here with just a few designs and I wanted to show you these. These is a set of 12 water brush pins from the awesome folks at Artisha. They wanted a little review made on that so I thought, yeah sure, why not. They also sent me this six water brushes and these are awesome because you get to fill them up with water and they help you blend these marker pins here. Um, now. I've had these before and what I the one thing that I noticed right away that I thought oh I'm gonna love these is because when you undo them they have this great big hole so you can fill the tube right here Isn't that awesome now I have two other ones I don't know who the makers of those are but they have a little tiny hole right here and you have to stick it in the water and squeeze and try to fill it that way well that, that's okay right but I really like this because you just pour the water in there, they're full, you screw them back, screw the barrel back onto the nib part and you have it. The other thing is this right here. This is a rubber piece that you squeeze and by squeezing it, you release the water flow. I don't know if you can tell, you squeeze and there's the water. So I really like that. This is the smallest of the brushes of the six that I got. Now, I don't know if they have smaller, but I do know that they have bigger because these brushes are all different sizes. Look at the size on that one and this one. So for all you watercolor professionals out there, I think that this would be awesome to work with. And uh, the lids are on very tight, so you're not gonna lose them. You actually have to like pull them to get them off, which I thought was great. There you go. So six different sizes. Let me show you the other two. These two. Now, they also sent me the water pins, like I said. And these are very, very vibrant colors. I really like them. Now, Christmas, my youngest gave me as a gift the set of 48. So I know they come in bigger numbers. I think they even come in a set of 72. You need to go to Artisa.com to check them out because the products are really good. I've worked, like I said, I had those at Christmas, so I'd used them before. So inexpensive and they work really well, especially, like I said, for those of us that are not professionals at this and I don't want to go and spend a lot of money on something that I might not be able to do because like I said, I'm not a professional at using watercolors, but I'm trying to get into it. And this I think is a great start with a nice set of uh, brushes to use and the markers. Now, the what I liked about this, one of the things that I liked was that the brush, look how pointy that is. <laughs> I've been writing on me before. Um, and it goes on so nicely. So I was wondering how easy it would be um, for me to use it as, you know, to do some, some lettering. Um, I don't know. So I thought I'd try and see if I could have control on that long brush there. Um, let's try, let's do Faith. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of practice, but I think that for those of you that are that rock the lettering, these would really work. Now, how do they blend? Let's see. Put that there. Let's add some water. Now, remember this way to squeeze. Ooh, I, ooh, a lot of water comes out. So, be careful when you squeeze I think what I would do is I would squeeze outside of what I'm doing and then grab my water from there and come in and um, they blend really nicely yep um, I think these are awesome they also have the name 
on the pin and the color at the end of the pin. So if you store them like this, you'll be able to see the colors. And if you're like me, if you color by color and not by name, <laughs> that would be, would be great. Like that's green and that's that's light green and dark green for me. Um, so I don't know. Maybe this is what you've been looking for. This will answer all your dreams. Um, dreams. Let's do dreams. See, it's, it's still a little messy for me right there. Like I said, um, a lot of practice, but it's something that would would work. The waters are, the colors are really pretty. They're really vibrant. Oh look, that looks like a rabbit, huh? Anyway, um, I think that these are awesome pins. I just lost the lid to one of them. Come on, come on. Here it is. Now, the lids on these are also tight. You have to pull them off, which is great. Um, maybe they won't dry as fast, especially, once again, if you're like me and you buy supplies and put them in a the drawer, and then never use them, but you buy them because somebody's enabling you to do. Like I am now. Run, run, run. Go buy them. <laughs> no, no. Um, they did send these to me um, to show them, and I'm being as honest as I can about it. So, um, once again, very affordable. So, if you want to try your hand at watercoloring, this right here would be a great start for all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.